Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, in here, out there, all around the world, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. And... <laughs> you know what? It's wonderful to, to be here tonight with friends because uh, we, have, we, have, we have sad news from New Zealand. Their prime minister, Jacinda Ardern, announced she will step down next month. No! No, Jacinda, if you're not prime minister, who's gonna pick me up from the airport in Auckland now? <laughs> This is the biggest story to rock New Zealand since Dave spots new sheep. <laughs> and what I don't understand is why. I am leaving because with such a privileged role comes responsibility. I know what this job takes, and I know that I no longer have enough in the tank to do it justice. Wait, wait a second. She's leaving because it's the right thing to do? She didn't lose an election or steal classified documents or have a Boris Johnson sex party? <laughs> Are you Kiwi sure you know what, how democracy works? You have even one deranged pillow salesman? <laughs> she, co she continues. After going on six years of some big challenges, I am human. Politicians are human. Except Marjorie Taylor Greene, she seems to be some sort of coconut with a wig on a stick. <laughs> Arden. You can see Arden got a little choked up there, but she sees the bright side of the post-political life. I'm looking forward to spending time with my family once again. And so to Neve, Mum is looking forward to being there when you start school this year. That is so beautiful. That really is. That is a absolutely... That's her. That's what she's like. That is so beautiful and so selfish. Sure. <laughs> You want to spend your time with your daughter, but what about your other daughter, me? <laughs> Remember when we barbecued in your backyard with Lord? You're the only world leader that I'm friends with. Don't make me start hanging out with Justin Trudeau. <laughs> sure, he's pretty to look at, but he smells like hot yoga and poutine. <laughs> and it's not just the kids. It's not just the kids. Jacinda's also leaving me for her fiance. And to Clark, let's finally get married. Clark, you better say yes, okay? <laughs> I am saving the date. Put me down for fish, because you two have found your flower girl. <laughs> so, this ends the remark uh, a remarkable run for Jacinda Ardern. In, 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 in office, she went in 2017, right? She became the world's youngest world leader and the youngest leader of New Zealand in over 150 years when she was elected at the age of 37. In her second term, she formed the most diverse government in New Zealand's history. Her leadership on COVID kept her country largely free from the virus until last year. And after the horrific gun massacre in Christchurch, she spearheaded legislation to ban assault rifles just six days later. Yeah. Well done. Bravo! Please, rest up, because we need you to come to America to run in 2024. <laughs> because... You may be a Kiwi, but at 42, you are constitutionally old enough to be a president's grandchild. <laughs> well, uh, it's, uh, what is it? Is it Thursday? It's a day of the week, and you know what that means. We have found out more lies about Republican Congressman George Santos, also known as Anthony DeVolder, also known as Anthony Zabrowski, also known as George DeVolder. Now, that's too many names for one person, but just enough for one law firm. <laughs> Today's new Santos lie is uh, his fake glamorous life in New York City, as he told this podcast host. I've been ostracized from every single possible social circle. I was a guy who used to go to the Met Gala. I'm not invited back. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, you're not invited back because you were never invited in the first place. Okay? Okay? Unless you're talking about the Mr. Met Gala. It's so glamorous. Last year's theme was baseball head. Today, we also learned about another Santos persona because, according to associates, he used to be a drag queen in Brazil pageants. Wow! George Santos did something interesting. <laughs> All his other lies are super boring, like I worked at a bank and my mother is a volleyball. 
Sources say that Santos performed under the drag name Kitara Ravash. Really? <laughs> Kitara Ravash, that's what he went with? I would have gone with something fun like Anita Alibi or. <laughs> or. Ivana Pawn Your Jewelry. <laughs> but Katara Ravash never made it to the big leagues. According to a fellow drag performer, he did not have what it takes to be a professional. George did not have the glamour for that. Oh, snap! <laughs> the GOP! I'll tell you what, i tell you what, the GOP better ban books faster because Santos just got red for filth. <laughs> I have been told that means something. I'm not sure what I just said. <laughs> of course, George Santos denies all of this, and I can understand why his party, the GOP, has declared war on drag queens all over the country over the last year. They don't care that Santos is a serial liar who steals money intended for dying dogs, but for Republicans, finding out he performed drag would be as bad as finding out that he officiated a wedding between the green M&M and a COVID vaccine. <laughs> well. Now, here, 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 here's something. I talked about this last night, and, and now it's happened. The U.S. has reached its $31.4 trillion debt ceiling. Now, normally, Congress automatically raises the debt limit as needed, but House Republicans are refusing in order to leverage the standoff to extract major spending cuts on social programs, including Social Security and Medicare. That is an insane... <laughs> Negotiating tactic. That's pretty drastic. That's like a husband saying, honey, we're spending too much on entertainment, so either we cancel one of our streaming services or I shove your grandpa into the river. <laughs> Which is it, Netflix or Peepop? <laughs> so far, the White House is rejecting what it says are hostage demands using the debt ceiling as a weapon. So it could be a long battle and a long me talking about it because as Punchbowl News put it, welcome to the next six months of your life. Well... There goes dry January. <laughs> and, and, sure. You got, you got anything? You got, no? And dry February and no meth March. <laughs> the debt ceiling isn't the only thing Biden has to worry about because a suspected Russian spy ship has been spotted off the coast of Hawaii. Oh, no! You know they're desperate for ratings when they do a Hawaii episode. <laughs> Kids, get on horse. Putin family is going to Honolulu. We will say aloha to journalists, and then we will say aloha to journalists. <laughs> it's not the first time the uh, Ruskies have been sniffing around our shores. Recently, the same Russian spy ship was spotted sailing off the coast of South Carolina. Wow. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I do a lot of fishing down there in my home state, though this might explain why that one fish was so big and yelling at me in Russian. <laughs> Fried up real good, though. <laughs> oh, there's huge news. <laughs> yes, eating humans. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That'd be like a nice cannibal joke. There's huge news from Washington where we're learning. And is this true? Is this, is this true? Has this been verified? An old man ate a hamburger Here's what happened. To promote small businesses, a president ordered lunch from a D.C. burger joint, surprising the employee who took the call. Hello, oh, Governor Brittany speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Brian. This is Joe Biden. Now, I'd like to place an order for lunch if I could, okay? Hi. <laughs> Hi. What would you have? What would you like to have? Well, I'd like Bye. to have a bacon cheeseburger with American cheese and a side of French fries. We'll have someone come pick it up, okay? How business of ghost burgers these days? It's pretty good. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, I'm looking forward to having lunch. <laughs> okay. Okay, there you go. All right. Hello. I gotta tell you, I love lunch, Britt. One of my top three meals behind dinner and jello cup. You know, <laughs> back in Scranton, we didn't have McDonald's. And forget in and out, we just had out. <laughs> Doors weren't really a big thing back then. Everyone slept in one big room like that old Charlie Bucket guy. Good old Chucky Bucky's chubby pal still stuck in that pneumatic Chaco tube. <laughs> Rest in power, Augustus Gloop. <laughs> According to... <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> According to AIDS, a.k.a. the president's hamburger helpers, Biden enjoyed his lunch, but he did get the ghost burger with no spooky sauce. 
which is either a ghost burger special sauce or what Biden calls ketchup he doesn't trust. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. My guest is Congressman Adam Kinzinger. And when we come back, I ask Congressman George Santos some very, very tough questions. Stick around.